So a very close fight through two rounds. Anderson landed 32 out of 47 strikes in that second round. Feijal 23 of 33, right, was two of three in takedowns. Feijal 0 for one, so it's close, guys, but how do you have it through two rounds? Uh, Feijal first round, Henderson second round, one to one. I'm flipping that. So you guys both have it even though after two? Yep. Sticking by that. Ah, oh, that jab would have landed. Lead kick, counter right. And Henderson catches him with a straight right hand, uppercut back to the clinch. Oh, nice. Now Feijal scrambling aggressively away from the cage. Doesn't want any part of the clinch with Hendo. He's very explosive, put his foot against the cage to explode off it, nice move. Anything you guys would like to see more of? Oh, Henderson hurt Feijal with that right, and the ground and pound. Henderson at the age of 40 has added the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Championship to his mantle. What a win. Wow. Unbelievable. You are looking at a bona fide MMA legend. UFC Tournament Champion, Pride 2 Division Champion, and now Strike Force Light Heavyweight Kingpin as he defeats Rafael Feijão, and the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Title Jinx Pat continues. <laughs> yes, it does, but you know what? You gotta be happy for a guy like Henderson pulling it off at 40 years old. And Moro, I'll give you credit. You can call the right hand what you want now. <laughs> yeah, baby! The H-bomb delivers the Strike Force Light Heavyweight title to Dan Henderson. And unbelievable. His original Team Quest teammate, Randy Couture, a champion in his 40s. And now Dan Henderson, who will turn 41 later this year, adds the Strike Force 205 pound title to his uh, list of accomplishments. And Rafael Feijao, a close fight until he tasted that devastating right. Man, I tell you what, every time he touches people with that right hand, he crushes people. Woo! I'll Here do. comes the H-bomb, yeah! Just grazing chin shot that just went right through the hands of Feijal, and he just didn't recover. He's looking for a moment here, but Dan stayed on him, on his back, hooks in, and pounded him out. Wow, just explosive. Call it the H-bomb, call it the right hand of death. It works, if it touches you, you are going to sleep. Look at Feijal, just still figuring out where he's at. And you know, the, the right hand grazed him, what we thought, but it face planted a giant Feijal and put him away. I tell you what, you know, he's done it over and over and over. And Matt Lindland, who used to train with him, said Henderson hit him with it one time, and he goes, I, I never wanted to get hit with it again. It's ridiculous, even with 16-ounce sparring gloves on. And he has such uh, range with it. Like, you can see him, he just holds it there like it's a cock gun. And then he just kind of, I mean, he's not flashy. He doesn't he doesn't do a whole lot. He just throws it and it lands. He dropped shields like a sack of potatoes. I thought for sure he was going to finish him off. But what a right hand to drop the champion and take the belt. Dan Henderson, I mean, come on. You're like 40? How come you're not doing that, Pat? Well, so are you. <laughs> I'm not 40. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. 50 seconds in round number three. A referee in charge, Dan Mergliata, stops the contest. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is the new Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Dan Hendo Henderson. Dan Henderson, congratulations. I guess it's true what they say, life does begin at 40, my friend. An amazing performance and just another chapter to a legendary career. Talk about the fight and, and what it took to defeat the former champion. You know, uh, leading up to this fight, you know, everyone's talking about the belt, and I didn't really give it much thought until now. I mean, it's, it's definitely going to be an honor to have that strike force belt, but my main focus was to win that fight, and I couldn't have done it without the team of guys behind me. You know, all, all the Team Quest guys and the Dynamic Fitness guys that got my ass in shape. So 
Thank you. What about the fight with Fei Zhao? What, what do you think was the key in the end to beating him? Because it was a close fight for the first three rounds. You know, I, I kind of wanted to be real patient in this fight. And, you know, obviously I'd like to, like to have knocked him out in the first minute. But, you know, I felt that uh, he's a tough guy and he's real powerful, especially that first round. Finishes a lot of guys that first round. And, you know, he caught me with a good dinger that first round for a second. But felt like I finished the round real strong and wanted to be patient. Win each round and then hopefully catch him in that third, fourth, fifth round. And it's about what happened. All right, it was your seventh win via pure knockout. Let's take a look at the screen here, Dan, and talk about. And, and by the way, can I now call it the H bomb, please? Uh, I don't know. Ask these uh, fine Columbus <laughs> fans. See, they like it. They like it. Take it through. You know, I, I caught him. You know, it, it's a punch that I. I kind of like to do inside leg kick, overhand right, and it's one that I work on all the time. And, and uh, threw it, landed it, and jumped on top. And uh, you know, he started to recover. Then I landed a couple of good punches on top. So, thank you, all the fans of Columbus. You know, I'm I'm just happy that it turned out uh, this way this time, this visit to Columbus. And uh, always love the American fans out here. Thank you, and thanks to Fajal for giving me that chance. And. Hopefully I can break the curse next time and defend it. He is an MMA legend. He is the Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champion, Dan Henderson. Rafael Feijão, a, a tremendous fight, my friend, and obviously uh, not the outcome that you would have liked. Can you talk about uh, what happened in the fight? Ah, uh, doing a lot of mistakes, but this is normal. You no, know, it's our job. This can happen with anyone. You no, know? today is me. Tomorrow is him, and this is it's coming like that. I'm gonna come back home, train more, and come back stronger, for sure. Let's hear it for the former Strike Force champion, Rafael Feijão. And let's go back to cage side. Well, Pat, I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, one giant right hand, one good position, and that's all it took. Yeah, and I mean, the judges had it even, one round apiece. But, but the numbers right there, three out of four takedowns by Henderson, that obviously helped wear Faye Zhao out. I think Faye Zhao got a little tired. But I tell you what, scouting report for Dan Henderson, keep your left hand up. Yeah, right? Oh. Also, you have that one dominant position, which was the rear mount, which was basically pounding Faye Zhao's head to finish him off. Brilliant positioning. Dan Henderson pulls it off at 40. Yeah, tremendous win for Henderson, who uh, began his career in 1997, winning a tournament in Brazil. And again, if you've missed any of the exciting action tonight, make sure you check out Show Extreme coming up at 12.30 a.m. for a repeat. And of course, weeknights at 10 p.m. for the best of Showtime Sports. It's available on Show Extreme. Well, guys, Earlier tonight, we asked you to vote in our text message poll. The question was, which Strikeforce fighter will have a breakout year in 2011? And here are the results. They went with, a just like Dan Henderson, another two-time U.S. Olympian undefeated heavyweight, Daniel Cormier. What do you guys think of the results? I, you know what? I mean, uh, again, I think Cormier is wrecking heavyweights, but if that guy goes to 205, he's walking through some people. And uh, Frank, uh, Luke Rockholtz, 3%. Uh, he didn't fare that.